you don't any longer have the support of the public for these strikes. Is that concerning to you? It depends which poll you read. I went on Good Morning Britain the other day where there were, Richard Madeley was on attack mode. They did a poll shortly after that and said there was 75% support for the RMT. <laughs> so it depends which poll you read of who's, who's winning this. What, you, what was expected in the DFT is that we'd have zero support and we'd be back to work uh, with no strikes by the end of June. Once you, your friends in the Daily Mail and the Telegraph and all these other journals followed me from my house to the station, uh, invaded my children's Facebook pages and all the rest of it, that we would be public enemies number one. We're not. I'm a more popular person than many of the, the politicians in this room, unfortunately, uh, for the public. <laughs> but it, the fact is that we... No, it's not if you say so. We know so. More popular than you, you snivelling little weasel. We have got a lot of support. It's difficult to get support during industrial disputes. But if you ask uh, the public, do they sympathise with people getting a decent pay rise? Do they sympathise with the protection of uh, contracts of employment and conditions? They will say yes. It's difficult to keep get that support going fully during intense industrial action. But there is broad support for all the people that are involved in disputes at this time. And there's very little for the support for the people that are opposing those disputes and are trying you, to make people poorer. Are you concerned poor. about the increasing number of your members who are now turning out during strike days and turning up to work? Well, we don't have those. Increasing. We don't have reports. That's what we would call propaganda that we've been Absolutely. told. Absolutely, no, those are actual figures. So well, well, figures fifth, from who? Figures from Network Rail. Figures oh, okay. that are showing the yeah. increasing number. <laughs> of members of your unions now because from Network are actually Rail. turning up to work How do they know they're members of my union? Well, I mean, they, there That's are a protected more... characteristic. There are more... <laughs> beep, beep, beep. This vehicle is reversing. Beep, beep, beep. Look. <laughs> he's, 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 he's got you absolutely brilliantly. <laughs> Brilliant people. That's a protected characteristic. Work, but how do they know they're members of my union? Were previously. But how do they so know they're members? Well, because one of union has one We've union has settled. Sorry. One union has settled. <laughs> there are forty-three well, thousand people work for Network Rail. Twenty-one thousand of them are members of my union. Mm -hmm. So well, there would be the more people at work than not on any up. strike day. <laughs> So it isn't concerning to you then? <laughs> we don't have those reports. I get reports from picket lines all over the country that they are well... Keeps asking the same question because he realises nowhere else to go. He's got to double down now with his ridiculous notion. He's been found out and he's made to look a complete prat. Instead of uh, battling away, he's now just, he's now just punting the same line. Got nothing, hasn't he? Uh, attended and that the action we take is having the same effect as it did on day one. Thank you, Joe. <laughs>